Why do the tabloids call Prince Harry the Golden Prince? Now, Prince Harry, and I'll answer that in just a few. Now, Prince Harry has been labeled the Golden Prince by UK tabloids. That was stolen from them by Meghan Markle. Meghan never stole Prince Harry, first of all. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, did not steal Prince Harry. The tabloids, for one, couldn't stand seeing the happiness that Prince Harry had. The love and the affection that people basically climbing trees just to see Prince Harry and Meghan on their Australian tour. They couldn't stand it, much less the royal family, even worse, could not even stand it even more. And from that day on, that's when we started hearing how the lies from Camilla Tomini is a liar that Meghan had made Kate cry. That's when the lies began, when in reality, it was Kate that made Meghan cry. And I never ever believed that story because that story contained so much racist, racist tropes. Because there is no possible way that you join a family and then you make the future queen of England, the future current queen, I might add, of England, cry. There is no possible way. And the fact that they made it look like it was Megan, that in itself was racist, that the black woman had made Kate Milton cry. And that in itself was racist. And I never ever believed that story. And I'm glad that Megan corrected that story. I'm very, very thankful that she corrected it. So Megan did not steal Prince Harry. The double couldn't stand the fact that Prince Harry was in love with a mixed race woman, Megan. No wonder, a few days into their relationship becoming public, the racial abuse, insults, and racism was too much to the point that Prince Harry had to issue a statement condemning the targeted harassment and racial and colonial undertones UK tabloids used on their front pages when writing hit pieces against Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Now, as Rachel Johnson, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson said when she wrote positive articles about Megan, she said that not that anyone even can remember that she even wrote any positive articles or even fair, not positive, but fair articles about Megan. She said this, and I quote, No one read the positive articles, but when she started writing negative articles, it generated so much hits. Case in point, we see YouTube channels, for instance, that have hate accounts, have a huge platform, basically. They get recommended. I get recommended every single day hate accounts on my Twitter page. I get recommended hate accounts on my YouTube channels every single day. And it's really, really sad that hate accounts manage to get almost 100,000 thousands of views per single video that they post. One hate account, for instance, according to the Christopher Bowsey report, basically, when she talked about Prince William, she got the least views. They call themselves Prince William and Kate Middleton's fans. But when they talk about Prince William, they get the lowest of views. But when they talk about Meghan, they get the, when they are bullying or harassing and insulting Meghan, they get the highest of views. Our society, the moral decay that is currently in our society, with platform prioritizing, prioritizing profit over the lives of people, is it's truly just really, really hurtful, to be honest with you. Truly, truly hurtful. It got so bad that Prince Harry had to issue a statement condemning the targeted harassment and racial and colonial anatons UK tabloids used on their front pages when writing hit pieces, hit pieces against Megan. So today, Prince Harry is in the front page of the Daily Mail in the UK asking what Harry thinks about Camilla being the future queen consort. That Harry has changed his attitude towards Camilla. They're so afraid of Prince Harry's memoir, what it might say about Camilla. It brings the question that Camilla, we know, has kept the Daily Mail close. So would be the Camilla be the one actually questioning the Daily Mail to write articles, asking or displaying fears that Prince Harry's memoir, which none of them have ever read, would target 
Camilla. Why would they even think that? These people tell upon themselves. These people, they tell upon themselves. We know the farm has, behind, has been behind this mere campaign towards Prince Harry and Meghan. We heard about Prince William. When the time came for him to cover up his alleged affairs with Rose Hambury, the next day, negative articles towards Meghan became front page news. We've heard that. Even tabloids have told us that. Prince William and now they're telling us about Camilla. These two are highly, highly suspicious, suspicious individual individuals. Now, as Rachel Johnson said, that no one reads the positive articles, but when she started talking about negative articles, it generated so much hits. The entire business model of the Daily Mail that she wrote for is basically one that profits from people's pain and a hate-for-profit business model. Daily Mail is even listed by Wikipedia as an unreliable source. Yet some people read and believe the vile stuff they write, showing clearly that the education system in the UK is clearly a failure. Is clearly a failure. Even a child knows that a tabloid is just for gossip. In the UK, Tabloids, gossip papers like the Daily Mail sell the most papers and generate the most revenue from advertising. It reminds me of one thing, basically. For instance, in the US, in Fox News, they had a lawsuit against them. And the lawyer for Fox News, I repeat, the lawyer for Fox News, listen closely, said this. No reasonable person would believe what Tucker Carlson says. That's a lawyer for Fox News saying that. And yet, you have some people basically believing what Fox News tells you, what a Rupert Murdoch-owned Fox News tells you. This is really, really sad. It's really, really sad. This, The moral decay in our society, it really, really needs to be fixed in a way. The education system needs to be improved. Daily Mail sells the most papers and generate the most, most revenue from advertising. A tabloid that profits from people's pain. Now, the reason the tabloids refer to Prince Harry as the golden prince is because, listen to this, they have been unsuccessful in tainting Prince Harry's name and tainting his character so they can be able to control him. Look at Camilla, for instance. She came a long way from a mistress and to someone the late Princess Diana referred to as a third person in her marriage to the future Queen Consort of England. And this has been attributed by some people even called Peter Ant, a royal expert in the UK. These pirates with press cards saying this, that Camilla kept the Daily Mail and UK tabloids very, very close. As Megan said in the Oprah interview, if you are willing to wine and dine with UK tablets, you will get positive press. Harry and Megan refused to play the game. They refused it, the game that killed Prince Harry's mother. Now, Prince William, for instance, was accused of having an alleged affair with Rose Hanbury and had to threaten newspapers called in his lawyers an army of lawyers for his alleged affair to be covered up using lawyers saying, and I quote, it was a violation of his privacy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And here I thought, according to tabloids who went after Megan, say that royals have no right to privacy since the public pays and foots their bill. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I get it. That only applies to the mixed race woman who joined the royal family, Megan. Again, the double standards makes me sick. Megan was even told to go back to America if she wanted privacy. Yes, she was told that. The xenophobic articles written about her is in public display. Every single person can find it even up to now. It's, it's still there. It's still there. Okay, now you've seen the likes of Prince William, Camilla, all of them basically, all of them 
and the double stand that the UK tablets showed them. Now, this sort of, when they called about privacy, apparently, clearly, it only applies to the mixed-race woman Meghan, who married Prince Harry. Now, in exchange for covering up for Prince William's alleged affairs, Meghan was handed over to UK tablets to cover for Prince William's alleged affairs. I won't even go ahead and start talking about huge problems Prince Andrew accused of sexually assaulting Virginia is in and his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. How the tablets go so far as even closing down the comment section for someone being accused of sleeping with an underage person, an underage girl, Virginia. The tablets, Sky News, ITV, even the BBC News, they close off the comment section when writing any article about Prince Andrew. That's the palace protection that Prince Andrew possesses. Prince Harry, the golden prince, refused to play the game with UK tablets and hover his children Archie and little bit Diana in exchange for good press and even stood by his wife at a time when she was taking so much abuse which continues to this day. Prince Charles, according to reports, handed over Harry and William in exchange for good press at a time when the public opinion was so low for him due to his affair with Camilla and the pain and suffering they had caused Princess Diana. He used Prince Harry and Prince William to get good press. For instance, when Prince Harry, years ago, was involved in taking drugs and heavy drinking, a story came out of how Charles took the necessary steps to make sure Harry was getting help in rehab. In the story, Harry ended up being painted in a bad light by the tabloids, while Charles came out looking very, very good, a caring and supportive father. Harry knew what he did was wrong, but was unhappy at how the story was painted against him, the constant need to use Harry as their personal scapegoat. So when Harry said he was leaving, it was a problem for the royal family as well because they were losing their scapegoat. Prince William was losing Meghan, his personal scapegoat, and Harry. Prince Charles also was losing the same. Charles played a Game of Thrones on Prince William to take out Harry and Meghan away from the royal family. Because make no mistake about one thing, Prince William was the main person involved in the smear campaign that Meghan and Harry faced. He was the main guy. He was the main, main guy. Case in point, look at what he did. Authorizing Jason Knopf to issue a statement against Meghan in court. One they call a much-loved member of the royal family. Now, this is what has happened. Now, Prince Harry is the golden prince because UK tablets have been unable, unable to get the dirty secrets, any dirty secrets they can use or hold over him to make him play by their rules and play the game. To have him, to have Prince Harry in their pockets. They've been unable to achieve that. Make no mistake about one thing. The tablets hold many secrets. Infidelities in the royal family. They know of them. And corruption that gets covered up in exchange. The tablets get pictures of children. Prince William regularly gives pictures to the son, the daily mail of their children in exchange for good press and routinely hands over Meghan and Harry to cover for himself and stories for money. Without the royal family, the prospect of tablets to make money grows slimmer. It grows slimmer. Perhaps that's why tablets fight for the royal family so much avid, avidly, completely. They avidly fight for the royal family. They know the royal family is in the wrong, always. They know that. They know that perfectly, perfectly well. No wonder they, th they turned on the royal family the day that Princess Diana died. They turned on the royal family. That was the day they turned on the royal family. They know that the royal family is not a clean, squeaky clean family. They know that. And the fact that they've been able to put Prince Harry in their pockets is a level of problem that UK tabloids have had. They hold many secrets for the royal family. Without the royal family, the tabloids making money will be very, very difficult. They need them to make money. 
Golden Prince Prince Harry is a real man who has no dirty secrets to hide. The tabloids can use against him and they hate it. So they go after Meghan to get to Harry and cause him more pain than they already have. But it makes me glad that Harry and Meghan have left. That's cesspool. Thank you so much for tuning in to our video. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and supporting our ever-growing family on YouTube. I'll stop right there. Thank you so much for always supporting us. With so much love, stay tuned to our next video and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I hope you enjoyed our video today. Kindly go ahead and support our website www.dailydiariesfriday.com I'll post the link in the description. And if you wish to support and donate to our channel, kindly donate to our PayPal email brandkiputo95 at gmail.com and we'll feature you and we'll say thank you on our videos. Thank you, thank you so much those who have donated like Mary Man. Thank you so, so much for helping our channel grow. Thank you, thank you so much. With so much love, thank you for liking, subscribing and supporting our ever-growing family on YouTube. Stay tuned to our next video. Hello, Sussex Squad Family TV on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed our video podcast today. Kindly like, subscribe and leave a comment below. Your support means the absolute world to us. Please like, like and subscribe. Help us grow our family on YouTube. Stay tuned for our next video.